chant on goodwill. And so the thought, may I look after myself with ease, may all living beings look after themselves with ease. Recognizing the fact that happiness is something that's going to come from your actions. And the wishes, may it be easy. Well, it's made a lot easier if you train the mind. And as I was saying last night, make sure your allegiance is with the Buddha and not with your defilements. You do that by developing right resolve. Resolving on renunciation, resolving on non-ill will, which is everything from equanimity to goodwill, and resolving on harmlessness, which is basically compassion. You want to develop thoughts like these, because as we're practicing along the path, every now and then we run into patches where there are ruts in our path. And if the ruts are ruts of sensuality, ill will, harmfulness, they're like ruts that will pull you off to the side of the road and into the, into the swamp on either side. They're like ruts in the snow. I remember one time when I was a teenager, I was driving along the road, and all of a sudden the car got stuck in some ruts in the snow. And I couldn't get it out, and it plowed right into the back of a car that was parked. My first accident. A lot of our lives are like that. We have lots of accidents because we just get into these ruts, the bad ruts, that pull us off the, the path to the end of suffering. So you have to create new ruts in the mind. It's not simply a matter of saying, well, I'm just going to know whatever comes and pull out that way. You have to actively create positive ruts that get you in the right direction. So when thoughts of sensuality come up, you've got to counteract them. Remember the, the drawbacks of sensuality. And whatever it is that you're lusting for or angry about, look at the side that's the opposite of what your defilement is pulling you in. If it's thoughts of anger, look for the good side of what you're angry at. Thoughts of desire will look for the bad side, and your defilements will complain, because they want to go back in the old ruts. They don't care whether you're off the side of the road. They jump out of the car, and you're the one who's stuck off at the, in the swamp. So the same with thoughts of ill will, thoughts of harmfulness. You've got to actively counteract them. And the more the right resolve becomes habitual in the mind, then you will be able to look after yourself with more and more ease. So it's not just a matter of training the mind not to think. It's training the mind to think in the right directions first. And those right directions will then take you to a state of mind that really is quiet and still and solid. And you find that a lot easier to get into right concentration and stay.